Hello and welcome to another video. Now, I've done so far a couple of different Lithuanian dishes. Today I'm going to do Lithuanian potato pancakes, and I'm not even going to try to uh, pronounce the name. Um, these are distinct from what Americans think of as potato pancakes, and they're distinct from sort of the latkes that are sort of typically part of Ashkenazic cuisine. Um, latkes typically use um, shredded potatoes and um, matzo flour and stuff like that. Um, these ones are just potatoes, onions, eggs. Um, it's a very different kind of potato pancake, but they're very filling, very delicious, and um, well worth the attempt. If you're, if you're trying to get into Lithuanian cooking, this is probably the best first dish to make because it will allow you to focus on a bunch of the um, uh, fundamentals of cooking in this um, in this cuisine. The most important pieces of course involve how to manage the potatoes and uh, you'll see the whole um, uh, the whole process here. One big difference uh, to um, Lithuanian kitchens though is that typically Lithuanians have these machines for grating um, potatoes. If you're working instead with a box grater, which is what we'll be working with today and what most people would typically have if they start out, um, it's a different process. A uh, box grater is fine and it works well. The only problem with a box grater is it takes more time and this means that the potatoes will darken more. So there are a few changes that I've made to the methods of this dish to accommodate that amount of time. Typically, Lithuanians will grate all the potatoes and then they'll mix the onions and eggs in. We're going to mix the onions and eggs together first and we're going to mix the grated potato into that. The reason is that onions contain vitamin C and because onions contain vitamin C, they're, not going, they're going to inhibit the darkening of the potatoes. Um, and this will buy you a lot more time in working with the potatoes, especially when you're getting going. So um, this is all going to work. Um, it should work pretty well. Um, and so I've designed the techniques around this to allow for more time um, to kind of get familiar with, with what you're doing. So with that in mind, let's uh, go turn to the ingredients. The ingredients for this dish couldn't be simpler. I have about a kilogram of potatoes. These are kind of oldish potatoes, but they'll still work. Um, they're a little harder to grate as they age and get softer, so just keep that in mind. Um, I have an onion. I have uh, an, an egg, but this is a jumbo egg, so it's like about one and a half times the size of a smaller egg, so just keep that in mind. Um, for, ingre for equipment, I have a box grater, and as always, we will use this fine grating side. In theory, I think it might work with the coarse grating side, but I've never tried it. I really avoid using this side for potatoes because of fingers. Um, this side, you're much less likely to hurt yourself on. Um, I've never managed to grate potatoes on this side without cutting myself. Um, mixing bowl, this is bigger than needed, but it'll work. And finally, I have a smaller mixing bowl where I've put a sieve in. And what we're going to do is, we're, as we grate the potatoes, we're going to set them in the sieve and let them drain. Um, this is quite a, an interesting dish in this regard, so um, that's what that's what we're but that's uh, what we need to make it. So I have um, finely uh, diced this um, onion. I'm gonna put it in my big mixing bowl here. And into that mixing bowl, I'm gonna crack my egg. Now, if you are using um, Now, if you're using medium, medium eggs, you might want to use two. Um, but since I have this big jumbo egg, I'm only going to use one. I'm going to stir this together kind of nice and aggressively. And uh, while I go into the next steps, uh, the onion's going to kind of soak in the egg a little bit. This is really important because um, the vitamin C from the onion is going to also permeate the egg, and that's going to be important in keeping the presentation nice. 
So the next step is I'm going to take uh, one of my smaller potatoes and as always I work from small potatoes to big potatoes. Uh, I'm going to peel it with a vegetable peeler, um, grate it, and then I'm going to put the grated bit in here. Um, again, it will be this small side here. Um, I will demonstrate the uh, technique for grating um, once I have this potato peeled. So again, here we have the box grater. We put it in a bowl. We're going to use this side. I'm left-handed, so I'm going to tilt the side to the left. Then, starting typically on the larger side, I'm going to rub this back and forth, and I'm going to twist the potato slightly as I do that. The reason is that if I don't twist it, what's going to happen is that uh, grooves will develop in the potato, and it will just simply, it'll be much, much harder to grate. But if I, if I twist it a little bit, that avoids that problem. Once I get a bit in, I'm going to flip this around, and I'm going to do the other side. See, this side is actually dull enough I can take my calloused fingers and press the potato against them. This side would still cut my fingers. So then, when this is done, I'm going to take this and uh, leave that there. I'm going to take my sieve and bowl, and I'm going to dump this into the sieve. I'm going to let this sit in the sieve while I process the next potato, and then this pulp will go in there into the egg and onion mixture. So I'll be back to demonstrate that when I've done the next potato. So this is the second potato, and you could see it was just uh, browning just a little bit. It's okay. I'm gonna go ahead and stir this in. And then I'm going to take the third grated potato and pour it into the sieve. I'm going to do that with all the rest of the potatoes, but before I do, I just want to show you something. And that's that at the bottom of this, you can see the starch starting to separate. That's fine. We could either add the starch into this, which will work, um, or you can actually dry it out and use it like cornstarch. <clears throat> I will eventually cover both options as we, uh, as we progress. I'll be back when I have finished grating the other four potatoes. So I have the last potato in here, and so to speed things along, I'm actually going to kind of take this and I'm going to roll it back and forth in my sieve. And this will let the water drain, the liquid drain a little bit faster, and I can shake it a little bit. I'm just going to move that over here so you can see better. should be good. And after I stir it up, I'll come back and deal with this water here. Um, so what you're going to see is this is actually a really, really thick batter. Um, it's fine if you like them this thick. Um, if you don't, you can add a little bit of this potato water back. Probably not the whole thing, just a bit to see look how much that loosens this up. Now, uh, since this is about the consistency I want it, I'm not going to add any more potato water, so I will toss the rest of this, but I'm not going to toss the starch. So what you can see here is that there's this really thick layer of starch at the bottom. Um, I'm actually going to save this for future cooking. You can use this exactly like cornstarch. Um, so I'm going to just let this sit for a bit, I'll pour off the rest of the water, and then I will save that out to dry. So pan, bit of oil, turn on, um, we're going to heat this up by turning it on to high, and then I will turn it down from a 9 to about a 6, so just above medium. 
Once this gets hot, we'll start cooking these. It'll, it will be just a couple minutes. Oh, if this doesn't work. So once this is hot, I'm going to put a, a scoop full of batter in, and usually I use a gravy ladle. And I'm going to spread it around a little bit with the ladle, just because this is a fairly thick uh, batter. And I will typically cook two of these on a pan this size. A little tricky because the burner isn't quite as big as the pan. We'll see if that causes any problems. And uh, we're going to let these cook until they fully firm up on the top and then I'll flip them over. That may be another minute or two. But it shouldn't be too long. Uh, typically what you'll see is that the colors will change. Um, it'll turn a little bit uh, uh, and you'll start to see brown uh, on the bottom there, and that's how we know they're ready to flip. These are starting to get close, but they're not quite ready yet. Typically what I'm going to do as they start to get close is I'm going to take my spatula, and I'm just going to make sure they don't stick to the pan. So I'll just gently kind of move it underneath all of it and make sure that it uh, moves freely. And I will do that under both of these. You can't do that right when the um, when the batter comes in because then you'll just be moving around batter. Uh, you need it to stick together a little bit better. See this one's sticking a little bit. But once they move freely then, then it's a little easier to work with. This one is starting to look about right so let's flip it over. And it's a little bit underdone. I'll, I'll come back later and try on the next uh, ones as well. So I've cooked this um, on the other side for a little longer and you can see it's starting to get a nice golden brown. Uh, we're going to cook these for just a couple more moments and then I will take them off the heat and present them while I cook the next two. So while the next two are on the griddle, I'm going to go ahead and just put these on a plate. Um, typically these are served with sour cream and not much else. You could, I suppose, put bacon and onions on them, but uh, we're just going to do it this way. And here are your Lithuanian potato pancakes. And now for the taste test, just going to take a little bit of the sour cream, kind of move it off to the side, take a piece of this potato. This is delicious. You get the flavor of the onions, the flavor of the sour cream, and um, the texture and, and fillingness of the uh, potatoes. This is a great dish. It's um, classic for a good reason, and I hope you enjoy it as much as I do. Bon appetit.